Hey. All right. All right, all right, all right. Are we, are we met? We are. Fantastic. Welcome to Watch Me Work, whether me and the title is you. I'm SLP. We are here again to talk with you about your work and your creative process. Welcome, everybody. We've been doing this show for like forever. forever. Um, you all know it because I recognize all your faces. Oh, look, there's Barbara. I feel like the romper room. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Um, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to work for 20 minutes together by this timer. And then we're going to talk uh, about your work and your creative process where you'll ask me questions about your work and your creative process. And so that's basically all we're going to be doing. Uh, Lolly will tell you how to get in touch with us if you have a question. Yeah. So if you have a question, if you're in the Zoom with us, you can ask questions by raising your hand, which is in the uh, reactions tab at the bottom of your screen. If you have any trouble finding that tab, you can just message me in the chat and I will help you out. If you are streaming on HowlRound, feel free to send us your questions via the Public Theater's Twitter or Instagram accounts or the Watch Me Work Twitter account, which is at Watch Me Work SLP with the hashtag HowlRound. That's hashtag H-O-W-L-R-O-U-N-D. So that's how you'll ask a question. All right, all right. So, um. Oh no, hold on. My my I put the wrong timer on. There, that's better. Okay, and here we go.
All right, all right. That's 20 minutes. Are there questions? People have questions. Was that 20 minutes for you, Lolly? Yep, 20 minutes for me. It looks like we've got a question from Larry. All right. Hey, Larry, how you doing? I'm okay. How are you? It's good to see you. Hey, good to see you too. Um, I, uh, you know, I think I've shared before, I've got this project that I've, I've made perhaps ambitious beyond my abilities. <laughs> um, but uh, between teaching and directing and, you know, it just my, my writing goes in waves. And so uh, I, I got some advice, I've gotten some premonitions, things like that. And I'm thinking about starting over. And I'm wondering if you have any, like, it's just cluttered. It's like a hoarder's script. <laughs> and part of that is appropriate because that's partially what it's about. Um, so I'm just wondering if you have any feedback for like, have you ever just started over? What is the value of just starting over when you feel like you've painted yourself in a corner or it's cluttered or congested or whatever the metaphor is? Um, have you ever started over before with a project? No. What do you usually, have you ever painted yourself into a corner before? As you said, painted yourself into a corner. Those are your words. I'm just, you know. Yes, I have. And usually, like, you know, I, I edit. I edit. Um, but I'm finding myself just, like, overly inundated and, and also a little... Um, um, and again, there's this thematic relevance to this in the story, but um, like I'm, I'm too attached to what I wanted it to be, to um, like I, I don't, I, I don't want to get rid of anything. I'm, I'm literally like a, an episode of Hoarders about it. <laughs> Everything you, you know, it's like what is, what's this old wet box doing in here? Oh, I might need that, you know. Someone might come and ask me if they need a wet box. Um, so, you know, like I just have a reason to keep everything. And I'm just wondering about. So, so, you know, so how are you going to start over if you want to keep everything? I know. <laughs> I guess my thought was, well, one of it was um, not that I expect you to remember, but some of this process was I started this whole devising thing and worked with a million people on it and tried to honor all their stories and so it, you know it was again I was sort of for parts of my many years working on this some of it was using my directing process to write and things like that um so what I notice is the things that I most don't want to get rid of are the things that are about me and so I thought, what if I got rid of honoring all the other people that contributed to this thing? And what if it was just me? And um, what's that? Bad about that. Uh, I just miss, you know, uh, I miss the 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 what the what I thought I wanted. <laughs> yeah, that's like life. Right. Yes. <laughs> so you you can make it about you, because it's yours. Yeah. You no, know, you you can make it about you, and that I would say that sounds like editing to me instead of starting over. So, okay. So not starting over. You're just editing, and you're making it. You're you're getting more and more specific about what you, what you thought it was, and now what it is, and what you want it to be. So there's what you thought it was back there you know and what you wanted it to be oh that's back there and now you're like well here's what i want it to be now okay yeah and you're like and i'm going to edit according to what i'd like it to be now okay that's okay and you can and you don't have to like cut all the other stuff and then like burn it you know, on a bonfire in the middle of Central Park. I mean, you don't have to be that. You can just cut it and put it aside. 
put it in another folder on your computer desktop or in an actual folder or in a what a shoe box or whatever, you know, you, wherever yeah. you put, you know, and put it off to the side and it might well bloom into something else. Maybe, maybe not, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's maybe helpful. I think you're editing. Okay. Oh, that's okay. I'm going with that. I'm going to say you, I'm going to, I'm going to make it your fault. Yeah, you, you can, I, I, I'm a, I'm, I'll be real with you. I'm a black woman. I'm used to it. <laughs> noted oh, right but no i i know you said that as, as a, a loving funny thing so but the real deal is yeah we've been there but uh sweetheart you're cool you can you can you can make it my fault you can make it your fault you know it's it's it sounds like the right thing to do it sounds like what you're doing we're gonna honor what you're doing okay i appreciate you thank you i appreciate you too larry good question great question Thank you, Larry. Uh, does anyone else have a question? Feel free to raise your hand using the reactions tab. Oh, okay. It looks like we got one from Jennifer. You can unmute now. Hey, Jennifer. Hi, how are you? Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. Um, so I'm writing a dissertation. I just started a PhD program. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Congratulations. Well, thank you. And I, um, you know, it's a, it's a PhD in creativity. <laughs> it's kind of oh, a new thing in cool. Philly. Yeah. Hmm. And it has elements of, of theater and I, I'm really examining um, how theater can really help um, refugees who are coming here, looking at um, English language learning, civic engagement. And I think my big question is, I want to be respectful of their stories. And I'm, trying to go to all these like ethic workshops and you know ethic engagement reading all these books I have a great team of like advisors but there's still a part of me that's like it's not my story and I'm a white American woman and I want to be true to it and it's still like sitting in me just trying to figure out how to do that authentically though I do plan to interview get what their needs are all of that but I just wonder if you have any thoughts or uh motivational advice for you know someone who's trying to be authentic and really wants to be and doesn't really want to screw this up i actually want this to be like an informative helpful document not just something you would say at like an academic conference but something that could be used <laughs> and be helpful so what character are you in the story i think of myself almost as like that's a great question. Um, I think of myself almost as a, as a, I don't know, like a guide, like someone who, you know, like someone else is, I'm trying to think of like someone who's like pulling someone's hands, you know, like they're, 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 they're like telling me where to go, but I'm just sort of like a guide, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. Are Are you being guided? Yeah, I'd like to be guided as well like a mutual guide right guide. So mutual guide. yeah right you have some things to say and they have some things to say yeah it's, yeah right so you, you have to be clear about what your character is i mean like you're not the i mean from what you said which is great you're not the know-it-all no you're not the know-it-all and you're not the you're not the the refugee i mean i'm just you know right right you're the one who's already, we could say, in the whatever the, that word is, the one who's not the refugee, you know, you're not the one who has come from a land other than this one to find a new life, right? So you're the one who's already been, we could say, to some extent, let into the circle, someone who already has a seat at the table. Mm -hmm. That's your character. And your role is, if it were a play, you'd be trying to host these other folks you know i like that you're learning from them they're learning from you and you're trying to give them seats at the table mm -hmm. and also finding out places where you you can't do that you're going to fail that's going to be part of it i hope because then we'll see that you don't know everything mm -hmm. right you're gonna you're gonna fuck up that's part of it you know yeah Exactly. Then the, the reader will say, ah, Jennifer isn't the know-it-all. 
you know, she's not the white savior. She's the person who is sometimes saving, sometimes not, you know, sometimes thinking she knows everything, sometimes realizing she doesn't know anything. You know, you have to, you know, a dissertation is hard. I mean, I've never written one, but, <laughs> you know. I haven't uh, either. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, there you go. Uh, but you know what I mean? So just try to, as much as you can, work to define your role. Like, who are you? Mm -hmm. And then you'll see that out of defining who are who you are in the story, you'll figure out whose story you're telling. You see what I'm saying? Right. Mm -hmm. So be very, very clear every second, like, who am I right now? I'm the person listening. I'm the person talking. I'm the person learning. I'm the person teaching. I'm the, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And that you know? helps to think of it as like a play and, and, and a character. I do also write plays and I'm sort of thinking about the framework for this dissertation in, in that way. So I think that's really helpful is thinking about right. who am I in this. Yeah. The others. Play, it's, now it's a different kind of thing, but in terms of, you know, motifs and metaphors <laughs> it's helpful right 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 okay is that is that helpful? yeah yeah no it really is I really appreciate it thank you so much hey, good question great question next time I come on you could call me doctor if you want if I'm if I get it if that's how you, that's how you identify that's what I'll call you <laughs> okay and I'm gonna give you some credit thank you so much I don't identify like that although I have several of them but Seems so pretentious, but you work so hard for it. It's a nice title, but it does seem a little pretentious at the same time, you know. Well, if you want to be called doctor, I'll call you doctor. I'll call you anything you want. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good question, Jennifer. Thank Take you. Care. Thank you, Jennifer. Uh awesome. We have Matthew up next. You can unmute. Hey, Matthew. Good to see you. Hey, good to see you too, and uh, everyone else as well. Thank you uh, so much. So glad to see you back uh, here in the chair. Um, have a question specifically about a screenplay that I uh, just wrote, short short film, about uh, 20 minutes, and um, I have action and dialogue kind of working pretty smoothly through most of it, but find that... Uh, middle end area there there's what feels like a little bit of a lull where there's a lot more dialogue and uh i feel like uh some more action would be a helpful thing and i know that in screenplays one uh, shows more than one tells anyway so that's the other thing that i had heard but um in terms of just looking at uh integrating action that feels organic uh just looking for some insights, maybe some uh, direction on that. Yeah, um, cool. Um, so you say in the middle of the end, like page, how many pages to the end? Five, seven, one. Uh oh, I can't hear you muted yourself. Oh. You should be able to unmute again. Yeah. Like yeah, I, I didn't. I need the permission to unmute. So sorry. That was my bad. Um, Okay, um, it, this, it's about 35 pages, although it reads about 20 minutes, give or take, and say around uh, 14 to 16 minutes in, uh, there's this period, there, there's, it, it's very confrontational between various characters, but it's all verbal, and there, there isn't any specific action, you just basically have uh, seven or eight characters who are standing around uh, currently. And you'd like, would you like to see them do something? Well, I'm wondering if it's going to feel too talky if it's just one person talking and then another person talking and, and the like. And then if there's something that anybody is doing, I was wondering, yeah. does that make it more engaging? Uh, yeah, especially if it's a, I mean, for me, my personal, especially if it's a movie, you know, mm -hmm. you want to open it up. I like to see especially when you have the ability in a film to go different places, you know? Um, mm. So you can, I mean, what would you, what just off the top of your head, what could you see them doing? Um, well, there, there are definitely uh, conflicts in there where 
uh, there's some question as whether a character is going to be attacking somebody and it ends up not being an attack. But um, there are several of those moments uh, throughout this. But but there is a period where they're they're basically uh, talking at each other, um, and it's increasing in um, tension between the characters as as they're doing it to the degree that there are two characters who will walk off. But everyone else is uh, still there and just talking through to the point at which there is this uh, this conflagration. You have one person who's rushing at the other person and um, a, another person's trying to keep them from. When the characters walk off, where do they go? Off out into the world. It's, there, there are, there's a couple that is not going to make it. There's a couple that's just coming together and there are two friends who are being uh, potentially split apart uh, permanently because of a family secret that was uh, never right. going to be shared. Is there any way to change scenes? Like, you know, show another, I mean, it all takes place in one place? It's all, yeah, in, in a hopefully New York City park uh, to be shot sometime in April or May when it's warmer and uh, days are longer. Uh, it, it's all continuous action. It will start a few blocks uh, into the city and then montage into the, the park and then the rest of it is uh, all in the park. Maybe, maybe it could move around a little bit. Maybe we could, we could get them near some specific space that architecturally can be integrated into, uh, into the action. It's an interesting. There's a lot going on in the park. I mean, there's, I mean, Good. What park you think? Hmm? Which park? Um, that is a great question. Um, and it'll either be Central Park, if that is possible. I've uh, I've got to work through permitting issues if, if Central Park uh, costs something. Okay, uh, okay, don't even think about any of that. Yeah. I'm asking you the park in your mind. We're not talking about permits. We're not talking about weather. We're not talking about anything. I'm talking about what do you see in your in your imagination? What do you see? Which okay. park? You see Central Park? We'll go with Central Park because we're writing. When you're writing, mm -hmm. anything goes. You know right. what I mean? When you're producing and all that, then you got to talk about permits, okay? Right. So just okay. one thing at a time. So Central Park? You, you excited about Central Park? Um, specifically, I see a T with a path. So there's one path that's going this way, another offshoot that's going this way. You have the main two characters that are nearing that T. You have two characters that are about uh, 10 yards behind walking in the same direction. You have somebody, I've, I've kind of got it mapped out. You have one person who's sitting at the park bench here where everything's happening and two people who are on this offshoot who are walking towards that T. And ultimately everybody will end hey. up. Well, why don't you go, you know, go in the park, go in any park, any New York park, right? Mm -hmm. Spend like, yeah, I don't know how you you know if you're dressed warmly, walk around for like thirty minutes, and watch what people are doing. You know they're not all talking about the point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a lot of other shit going on. You know there are kids riding their scooters. There are people riding bicycles. There are people you know selling weed. There are people asking you for money. There are people doing interpretive dance because they go to fill in the blank college or university. Mm -hmm. There are people who are selling their clothing, uh, you know, like their fashions. There are, there's a lot going on. So you got to open up your imagination to include people in the park. And those people in your in your movie, main characters going through specific things that you very detail, you're very focused on are going to interact with the people in the park. Otherwise, why have it in the park, right? right? So you have it in the park, a specific place because there are specific things going on, which mm. are going to enter into the world of these people on these very specific uh, uh, you know, dramatic journeys. But you have it set in the park for a reason. You know, a, a tree could fall. Shit, you know, a cop could run by after somebody, a dog, you know, that lady who called ah, cops on the bird watcher could be calling cops on some other bird watcher. You know, there's a lot going on. 
That is a great call. That is exactly what I need to do. You know, have fun in the park. Get outside. Woo yeah. I will do that. I really appreciate it. That's perfect yeah. advice. You now, or write down stuff on your phone or take notes. Mm -hmm. Your we'll answer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Nothing works like a field trip. Great call. Thanks. Thank Don't you. Appreciate. Great question. Thanks, Matthew. Any other questions? Feel free to raise your hand. Anybody? Oh, Jim. Okay. Hey, Jim. Hi, how are you? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yeah, because I'm at a new station in my place. Um, I like it. I like the books. That's part of the reason I was here. I had to run in to get your book last week, so I said, go buy the books. Um, I recently uh, have been engaged to work on a project that's a revival of a devised piece that I was involved in in the mid 70s. But my question is, it, and it actually was a group I would become the playwright with, but I was not at the time. And so I will be involved over the next few years in reviving this piece by making it the work of a group of students at the University of North Texas with a director who is using it over two years in a physical theater class she takes. Sorry for all the backstory, but my question is, I have in the last five years been so intensively working on my own work, which is stuff that I was very invested in because over 10 years I was collecting the material for the primarily the three plays I wrote. So you are someone who works intensively on your plays, but you also do outside stuff. This is not so outside for me because I had had an involvement with the troupe that originally devised it. But I wonder how you keep the pa passion going for it, because I want to do my very best and most committed work for this material, particularly since it will be involving a group of students that we would really love for them to make the material theirs as well. Is, is that, mm -hmm. I, I, and, and I know a lot, some of the projects that you have worked on out, outside of your own writing have, have, ta have taken a few years. And so I wonder how you keep over a long period of time and with what might be a lot of breaks, how you keep that focus and commitment to that material when it's not really stuff that you came up with at the beginning. Does that make any sense? Sure, that's a great question, Jim. It's a great question. What I'm getting, uh, what I'm hearing, correct me if I'm wrong, is that this project is exciting to you. It's something that you'd enjoy. Is that correct? Oh, go ahead and keep yourself unmuted. That's, I'm sorry. Uh, you gotta, uh, Lolly, you gotta help him yeah. unmute. Yeah, you should be able to. Go ahead, unmute yourself, hon. 
Sorry, oh. I'll, keep, I'll, I'll keep it off until I go off. <laughs> yes. So yes. You and, and, and it was a group that was run by a director that I became very close to, was right. almost the assistant director to while I was the playwright for three years with this troupe. So in that sense it is, and in some sense, I'll probably be dealing with different ghosts as as we go as we go along. I've right now been reconstructing the script, the original script that I didn't work on from many different sources that we have, some of them photocopied and hard to read and all that. We we just, for example, came up with two pages that had been missing. The wife of the original director sent them. So it's that kind of thing. But so, yes, it does mean a good deal to me because some of the actors who originally devised it, I then worked with later when I was the playwright with the troupe. And I was very close with the ver with the director who, right. who since has died. So, right. yeah. So, and okay, so you're excited about working on it. That's key. How about, are, is your role clear? You're going to be, correct me, for, you're going to be the playwright or you're going to be the facilitator of other people's stories? What's the, what are you going to be? I think I'm going to be co-writer with the people who originally devised it, plus the, the, the group of students in this two, you know two year journey who are going to be taking this material on and maybe i should add part of the reason the director wanted to um revive this is because the central question the central theme of the original project was manifest destiny Mm -hmm. You know, the whole idea that white people, Europeans came, landed on this shore, and by God, they bulldozed their way across the continent, and then the cost of that for everybody. So to a group of students in Texas in 2023 and four, they will be working on it. it that will mean very different to, from what it meant to people in the mid 70s but still that overarching idea of that idea in america that by god it is our destiny to colonize this land um that that is something central that they will be working on and trying to make it theirs and realize what manifestations today that they want to work with i i don't know if i'm being at all clear i didn't i don't want to you know talk a lot about the original plot because i'm i think that's external to the question that I'm just, I, what i'm asking is like you're excited about the project yes sounds like you're clear about what the process is going to be yeah and i think and you and you should my suggestion is do other things at the same time Yes. So this is just one of the several things that you're going to be doing. You're going to be working on this with the students. Yes. You're going to be, and, you know, just be mindful, as you said, those questions resonate very differently these days. So it, you know, it might be better for them just to do their own thing I, because, uh, you know, it's a little, it's a, yeah, I wouldn't want you to get in the center of, conversations that are going to make you the the quote unquote bad person in the in the you know just to be mindful I think of I think you raise a very good point I think it is more important that the group working now makes the material that's presented their own than that they are faithful to anything that went on 45 years ago, maybe wow. more. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I mean, I, I, so just to answer the question, I mean, I think if you're excited about the project, you're clear about what the process is going to be, then it's going to be easy to to stay interested. But I just have a little asterisk uh, and a word of like, be mindful about how they want to involve you and how in my experience um people aren't as my as knowledgeable about what that's going to mean to involve you i i i am sort of concerned about you getting involved in a whole hornet's nest of bullshit to be honest with those topics and 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 students in in uh you know Texas, it's it's it could be kind of unnecessarily the drama might not stay on the stage. <laughs> so just to be, you know, uh, because I want you to have a great experience. So I say go for go for it and see what it, what it is, and just keep you know your eye on the fact that they might not have the ability to have nuanced conversations about these very thorny issues with you, because uh, you know. We, we, you know, when you were coming up, we, we would, we would sit around and really hash this shit out. Now, not so much. There's a lot of hot takes going on, a lot of quick decisions, a lot of canceling. Just be mindful. That's part of the culture these days. And if they can have these conversations and great, more power to them. Uh, but you have to find that out, you know, and their professor hopefully will facilitate those conversations where there are conversations instead of just like, you're you're the evil one. I'm canceling you. <laughs> you know. No. And, my- and perhaps I should say I will be more the dramaturg slash co-author with them. So I I mean I will be doing the script, but the director is the person that I think would be more the target of. Or, or the person who would be deciding some of this stuff beyond me certainly would be above me in the pecking order of making final decisions. But just you know, just just go go into it with your eyes open, and it's exciting. Keeping the passion up is not going to be the problem. Keeping the excitement level up and your commitment to it is going to be, I think, relatively easy. So don't don't sweat about that. It's it's just that other shit. No, and I think you were all I had already told myself because I had just started writing, working ver- on the idea for a new play that's important to me. So ah. that that I know is going to be work the thing, the lifeline that will keep me committed. That will be the other project that you yourself alluded to a few minutes ago and and so I, I i knew going into this i would need that kind of thing as well to keep my personal juices going uh which you know have, it's been fun to come back to these last five years and so i certainly do not want to um let go of that right exactly Thanks. Thank, Thank you very much. As question. Great question. Thank you, Jim. We have about four minutes left. Um, so time for a quick last question or SLP if you have anything you want to share with or address the group with. <laughs> I, I'm okay with silence. <laughs> cool. Well, Luis, I think I think you should be able to unmute. My question is, um, SLP, um, you're um, since it's just two or three minutes left. Um, your play about um, the pandemic is it my understanding that it's going to come again, be put up again in the spring at Joe's pump. Yes, uh, yes. I'll talk about myself. Yes, place for the play gear is coming back. Oh, uh, okay. We'll be back. 
Okay. We'll be there. Thanks for asking. It's fun. It's a fun show to do. Great group of people to do it with. And we're, we're having a wonderful time. So we've been invited back, which is great. Okay. Thanks. It's fun. It's fun to do new things. Um, so all of you thinking about like, oh, I'd like to try some new things, you know, it's really exciting to try things that you've never tried before and work with people in ways that you've never worked with. You know, it's, it's really, it's very energizing um, and thrilling to sort of throw yourself out there. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Yay. Be here next week. We will. <laughs> we will be here next week. Yeah. Okay. Hope to see you all next week. Same time, same place. <laughs> Thank you all. Bye. Thank you.